For now, it's business as usual. The all-volunteer squad still serving rural Giles County with rescue services and fire protection. But how much longer? On March 1st, the squad's next insurance payment's due, and Chief Scott Tarpley says the squad could be forced to shut down. Uh, if we run out of money, we won't have any other choice. It wouldn't be the first time. Back in December, the squad parked all but one of its trucks after Giles County voters said no to a wheel tax that would have supplied the squad's operating budget. The squad quickly gathered enough donations to temporarily reopen while asking voters to reconsider. But last week, they said no again. Tarpley hopes that's a reaction to the wheel tax, not to the rescue squad. People do uh, tell us that they want a rescue squad. But we found several county residents who don't think the rescue squad is worth more money. In fact, don't think that it should be in the fire protection business at all. They've gotten, you know, tried to go too fast and too large. Lester Wheeler is among those who believe the squad made a mistake. In the past two years, the squad's bought two new stations and six fire trucks. Before that, it could operate on donations. Now it needs governmental support. But Tarpley argues that expansion's improved response time and is actually saving residents money. It means anywhere from $50 to $100 savings on insurance uh, premiums. It's just not worth the money they want. Residents like Dave Musgrove remain unimpressed, not convinced the expansion means any real improvement in protection. Might well not even have none with them there. Like I said, if my house catches a fire, I think it's be gold. Yeah. Whether they can't try to come to save right, it or not. Right, right. So you'd rather do with no fire. Right, right. We generally hear good comments. Tarpley believes most residents do want fire protection and urges them to say so. I think if people do want a rescue squad that they need to let their commissioner know that they want one. In fact, keeping the squad running may require a special commission meeting, since the next regular one won't come until more than a month after the squad's expected to run out of money. Gordon Street, Channel 4 News, Giles County.